This is JBig Ticket 23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to install memory into a Precision T3600 workstation. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go to GreenPCGamers.com, click on the top where it says Blog, and search T3600. It's going to bring you to a couple different or three different options, uh, maybe more in the future. But click on the one that says Make My Precision T3600 into a Gaming Computer. Um, the reason why we want to bring you to this page is because we have listed all of the 1200R memory modules that are supported uh, by the system. We always choose the register modules, um, but they're all the part numbers are right here. So if you need help um, locating the part numbers to order these, um, they are right here. Um, this page is also awesome if you need other like upgrade ideas um, as far as like processors, drives, graphics cards, other peripherals. Uh, we don't sell anything, but we do uh, we do give you the information if you want to upgrade your system and resurrect it for for future. Um, future years. So let's get to um, the background on our install. Um, the T3600 supports up to 64 gig of DDR3 memory. There are four physical slots on the motherboard and it supports registered ECC or non-ECC modules. Now it's really important to note that you cannot mix those modules um, and we're going to go a little bit more in depth here on it. Um, the system supports, like I said, DDR3 memory um, so typically you'll see 10600 or 12800 uh, modules installed in these systems. Um, and, the, and the key thing to look at is uh, on your existing memory, look for um, at the end of the number if it says U, E, or R DIMMs. Um, you can't mix them. Um, if you do, if you mix U, E, or R DIMMs, uh, they're going to give you a beep code error. Uh, we typically will install registered DIMMs. So on Green PC Gamers, that reference guide with all those part numbers, those are all going to be 12800R modules, which is the fastest, fastest clock speed that this system supports. So an example of a good configuration would be four 12800R modules running at the same uh, capacity. So we're going to install four 12800R, four gig modules in our configuration. Now, there are some limitations if you had the 425 watt power supply version of this T3600. Some of those systems, you can only install the eDIMMs. So uh, take a look at your power supply. Um, if it's 425 watt, you're going to want to do e only EDIMs. If it's the 635 watt, you are open to any of the modules. All right, so let's move on. And so, um, max memory speed on this T3600 system is 12800. Um, the speed of the memory will be determined by the memory module you install, as well as the actual processor that you, you have installed in the system. So, um, for example, E5 2620 2.0 gigahertz six core CPUs max speed is 1333 megahertz. Um, E5 1650 3.2 gigahertz six core CPU, the max speed is 1600 megahertz, and that's determined by the processor. Um, if we didn't name your processor, you can go to Intel's website. In fact, we will actually take you there and show you where it will show you um, what speed memory your system will support. So in our case, we have. Uh, we went to pro, uh, intel.com, support home, product specifications, and processors. And on the top right, you'll see this cool little search bar called uh, search specifications. Um, you can go into your F2 setup or look at your service tag and see what model CPU you have installed. In our case, it's the E5-1650, uh, 3.2 gigahertz proc. It's really important that you match up the speed because they make these in V1s, 2s, V3s, and V4s. Um, and if you don't look at the right one, I'm just not going to tell you the correct speed. So uh in our case you can see you can go down to memory memory specifications it this processor is capable of supporting up to 256 gig of ram and it is capable of running at the 1600 megahertz or it's the same as 12800 um, if you look at the e5 2620 cpu which is the 2.0 gigahertz so we gotta again like i said scroll down to the one that you have the t3600 their v1 procs this CPU, if we go down to memory specifications, only supports up to 1333 megahertz. So if you haven't purchased memory yet, you can you can go with 10600 modules if you have the E5 2620 or, or whatever CPU you have. Um, you can search it here if you really want to find that out. Now, the good news is that if you don't want to look this up, just order the 12800 modules because they will clock down to whatever speed um, your, your CPU actually supports. So... Like I said, if you don't know, go with 12800. 
All right, so uh, if you have any questions about that stuff, please comment below or contact us, contact us directly on greenpcgamers.com. Um, so here is our T3600, and we've got our four memory modules. We're going to show you how to actually install the memory now. So we've got four 4 gig PC3L 12800R modules. They all match. That's important. We don't want any beep codes. We're not going to mix any 12800E or U or R because it won't work. So put your system on the side. Make sure it's unplugged. You can lift up this the little the little handle. It pops open. There are no screws needed or no no uh, tools needed. Um, again, we have four memory slots, two banks of two. And if you look at them, the notches are kind of offset. So the, the far notches are, are different than the closer notches. But so as you can look, we have them lined up. So these will go in the front slots. These will go in the back. You can see we'll point out we're just lining up those notches. And we're going to go ahead and pop these modules in. Basically, you just open up your slot, line it up, and then you shim them in. So you push one side till it clicks, like so. So that'll click right here. And then you push the other side and it'll click. And it's as simple as that. You just do that with it. all the modules and they need to be secure. Otherwise you may not get all the memory to show up when you turn it on um, or you, t I mean, you might not get video. So, but yeah, you just shim them in. You don't push them down the middle because it typically won't and you know, that won't click. So. All right, so so these it's a little bit tighter location here for these modules. So if I could go back, I would have actually removed the graphics card to install these modules in these slots, but it's definitely doable. You just got to sneak your hand into the cavity in the system here. So once it's lined up, just shim it in, and it will click. It'll go click and click. And it is as simple as that as far as actually installing the modules. If you're not comfortable doing this, um, you know, call a friend that is. You know, it's not worth breaking your motherboard. Um, but once you get the modules installed, um, you want to go ahead and install your side panel. So now uh, we're going to plug the system back in. And in post, which is that black screen when it boots up, there's an option to hit F2. And that'll bring you to what's called the F2 setup, and that's where we are. So go to F2, click on CPU and memory. And as you can see, we have our four 4 gig modules. It's installed. It's running at 1600 megahertz because our processor supports that. Now, if you had like a slower processor, it might clock those down to 1333 megahertz, or maybe even slower if it's a really old processor. All right, so now we're going to... We booted it into Windows 10, and we're just going to verify that Windows is seeing all the memory because we have a 64-bit OS installed, which is what you need to see more than 4 gig of RAM. And as we can see, 16 gig of RAM is showing up perfectly. So um, everything on this install has gone really well because we followed the rules based off of you know what modules to install. We matched all four. Um, we installed the fastest memory based off of our processor, um, and everything's working perfectly. So. Um, if this video was helpful to you, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Um, also, check out GreenPCGamers.com. Check out some of our other videos that we do. Um, uh, we upgrade tons of different precision workstations, uh, Lenovo, HP, um, all these different uh, engineering workstations. Also, um, we do monthly giveaways on our Facebook page. So um, if you search GreenPCGamers.com on Facebook, no spaces, it'll pop up for you. Just like the page. And uh, as long as you're in the lower 48 states, you will qualify for the free monthly giveaways. If you're not located in the lower 48 states, you'll have the option to pay shipping on the, whatever we're giving away that month. Uh, thank you so much for watching.